what's up guys another video um this one i want i want to push out as forgiveness and the beauty of life and obviously it's going to tie in to how it plays into your magical practice your daily practice and whatnot um and as usual, you guys know that a lot of this stuff that I that I push out comes from my experience, what I've gone through, what I've had to experience to get where I am today. Um, and to to be able to to progress forward, these are the things that I personally had to go through or that I've done, and so I'm basically just relaying that information. Uh, those memories, those skills and whatnot um, to you guys. So, you know, as usual, you know, you guys know from the past, I'll put out a disclaimer that I'm, I'm no expert, no professional. And that still stands. That still stands. And, um, you know, take it as as you want. Leave it, you know, as as usual. If it doesn't work for you, just leave it. Okay, so with the energy of forgiveness um, is very powerful. It's a freeing energy. It frees you. It frees you from responsibility and obligation. Now, what I mean by that is that when you are holding on a toxic emotions and energies as you know i talked about in the previous video about fear anger and jealousy you have stated not only to yourself but to the to the universe that you will be the sole individual within your realm of existence you will be responsible for holding on to these emotions and for dwelling in them through your, you've stated this through your actions by holding on to these toxic, negative, ugly, destructive emotions. And so by you doing that, you are holding true to your word and your bond to the universe. Where forgiveness comes into play, it sets you free from all those energies when you have truly learned to forgive and when you truly learn to forgive there there's no um what's the word that I'm looking for there's no grudges you don't hold grudges when you forgive out of forgiveness comes understanding. So when you learn to forgive, you sever that responsibility. You sever, excuse me, you sever all those things that you've placed on yourself to say, okay, well, I'm going to live by this, 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 and this in order to keep those energies going. You set yourself free. And the first step to to doing this in the process of forgiving is to forgive yourself and it's a hard thing that a lot of people especially in western society don't tend to look at you know a lot of people are afraid to go inward and they're afraid to forgive themselves because for some for some reason those toxic emotions give them something it motivates them somehow it gives them temporary uh justification to to perform the actions that they're performing and you know they're able to create excuses to say well if this person wasn't like X, Y, and Z, or if this person hadn't done X, Y, and Z, then I wouldn't be reacting this way. Instead of looking inward to say, okay, well, 
it's my obligation to say I'm going to forgive that person for something that they may not even be aware of. And even if they are aware of it, you know, even if they are going out of their way to do something to you, you forgive them for that. You set them free from the obligation of, of further, I guess, uh, toxification of of negative karma so to speak and i mean karma is an illusion but we still well society still goes by by a universal term for karma when it's all set within an ind individual basis and individual perception so we still hold those people responsible for our lives and so because we set the blame on them for the current situation, we've allowed ourselves to, to be involved and enmeshed in that current situation fully 100%. So to sever the ties, to free yourself, to forgive, to let go, to truly let go is so freeing so freeing because regardless to what people will do to you or regardless to what situations may come up you learn to have an understanding because that's what forgiveness is about forgiveness is an understanding it's an understanding to know that as long as you are living in this reality as long as your consciousness is inhabited and encased in this physical form Shit's going to happen. Shit's going to happen. You know, excuse my English, <laughs> but that's just me being real. And so when you come to that understanding to know that these things will happen regardless. It releases those those bonds and those ties and those karmic uh, uh payments that you that you've gotten yourself or karmic situations whatever however you want to phrase it that you've gotten yourself involved in so once you've learned to forgive yourself for even holding on to those situations holding on to those energies and you've learned to let go of them then comes automatically the energy to forgive others because you understand that others are only a reflection within your consciousness of you. Every person that you come into contact with is a reflection of consciousness and energies that you are to dwell with, to deal with, and to work with, and to learn from within that current moment. They're there in your life at that current moment for a reason. And so if you get caught up in the illusion of this person has done X, Y, and Z, and you've twisted that illusion to turn it into something that you don't want to let go of, that situation will constantly recycle through your life, regardless to if it's that person that you're dealing with or somebody else that might come in and take their place to do the same exact thing. And this is why forgiveness is important because you are breaking those ties. You're breaking those links for the lesson that you need to learn. So once you've learned and you understand that it is a lesson, you are able to free yourself and move forward to the next plateau of your life. And this also applies to magic. You know, I mean... I see all the time on YouTube and, you know, uh, back when I was on Facebook all the time, Magic Wars. And I, you know, I, I got my, I found myself getting caught up in a few of those things as well, too. But one thing that I've come to understand in my life is the beauty of forgiveness. Now, I'm not talking about forgetting because, you know, what people do to you, you're not going to forget. You're always going to remember it. 
and I'm not saying be weak and to not respond to the situation at that current moment. If somebody is threatening your life um, by magical and non-magical, even physical means, do something. Don't just sit there and be like, oh, well, I forgive you. No, react. <laughs> react to the situation. But I'm just saying that after everything is all said and done, to let go of the situation because the lesson has been learned. You've done what you needed to do at that point in time. So with that being said, you can break the illusion of being tied in to, to a situation that at the end of the day doesn't really matter. You know what I mean? So to to forgive, you know, especially like I was saying about the magical wars and stuff like that, to forgive is to move ahead and to vibrate at a higher level, man. And that's what I've learned to do. To to just understand that people are reacting out of their best nature. Out of their best nature. Because I obviously because of A, they don't know any better. Or B, you know, they're living out of the fear, jealousy, and anger mode of, of being, you know. Or C, they're doing it out of survival. It's, some, it's always a reasoning behind why people are reacting and, and behaving the way that they're behaving. And so once you take these ideas and these concepts into consideration, it will help you live your life more peaceful, more peacefully, uh, and and more imbalanced. So, you know, forgiveness is is very very key. You know, and through forgiveness, obviously, love will automatically manifest because you have that understanding, and so now you you learn to have compassion and that compassion leads to love and these are the higher vibrations that will automatically help you progress through your life and you know we can say that love is no more than than a true understanding of the soul's existence and reason for being right it's that attraction to higher truth and to to higher knowledge and to the higher self. When you're able to to come face to face with other forms of consciousness and you recognize that these other forms of consciousness are you, you start to vibrate at the same level and that builds that energy of love, that builds that that energy of connection. And that there lets you know that, you know, from forgiveness to compassion to love, that there is an endless amount of possibilities within these three realms for growth. And it also dissolves the whole concept of conditional love, which is another topic. We'll talk about that at some point in time. But... I wanted to definitely get this one out um, to kind of shed a little light on people people that may be going through situations right now, especially on their magical path. If you know you feel like, oh man, I've been going through a rough time, or you know, I've been caught in a magical war or whatever, um, to kind of help you see things. A little bit clearer in your life to give you a little bit of direction to help you raise above whatever you're going through because at the end of the day you will go through whatever you're going through because that's your soul's path you have to go through it there is no easy way around it right it's like what i said before no back doors to magic you know it's the same thing you are you have to you have to go through it you have to go through this work but your perception of the work that you're going through the lessons that you've gone through will dictate, you know, will, will dictate 
the end results. So, you know, um, take this and apply it as needed. And hopefully, you know, as, as usual, hopefully it sparks up something to help anybody, especially who's starting out. You know, a lot of my videos are for people who are just now starting out. You know, I've been there. I've gone through it, you know, and um, I understand that sometimes you may be a little lost and some things just aren't clear, you know. Um, so hopefully these videos spark up some type of inspiration and gives you some type of light, which is what uh, what I'm here to do, baby. So yeah. All right. So take care of folks and I'll see you on the other side. Peace.